Good morning, Trice Elementary. This is Mrs. Forby, and today is Tuesday, April 14th. Looking back yesterday to Monday, April 13th, happy birthday to Brock Carlson, Aaliyah Gonzalez, Liberty Rollinson, and Sebastian Rios Doria. And today, April 14th, happy birthday to JC Alvarez, Amber Chamness, and Mrs. Bell. It's time for our moment of silence, so if you would please join me. Thank you. All right, let's look back at history. In 1828, the very first edition of the Webster Dictionary was published. It was written by Noah Webster, and back then it was called the American Dictionary of the English Language. In 1860, remember how we talked last week how the Pony Express riders had taken off, one leaving California, heading towards Missouri, and the other one leaving Missouri to head towards California? Well, the one that left Missouri arrived in San Francisco on this very day, April 14, 1860. It took him to, took that, link, that leg of the ride 10 days, and remember, delivering mail back then in 10 days was considered lightning speed. Then we had a couple tragedies that took place on this on this date. In 1865, this on this day is when Abraham Lincoln was attending the Ford Theater and he was shot by John Wilkes Booth. And in 1912 is when the Titanic had taken off and it hit the iceberg. But we also have a special birthday to celebrate today. In 1866, this person was born. Her name was Ann Sullivan. Do you remember who Ann Sullivan is? She's also known as the miracle worker. She was the teacher of Helen Keller, teaching uh, Helen Keller how to communicate with the rest of the world. That was Ann Sullivan. She was born on April 14th, 1866. All right, as we start these weeks of e-learning, um, just a reminder of the importance of checking in with teachers. That's how they're going to keep track of attendance. Um, so when you receive information from teachers, if you will get back with them and let them know that you received the information, ask any questions that you have, and um, let's make the best of this time. Uh, that's all I have for announcements, so turning it over to you, Mr. Owens. Good morning, Tri-C Elementary. We hope everybody had an awesome Easter weekend and are excited to get back to the e-learning this week. In front of me, I have a table full of some resources that our teachers have Put together to get out to you today. They will be brand new, fresh on our school buses today and on our e-learning plan online, so check those out. Thank you again, teachers, for getting those together, but you can find new weekly plans uh, together today, uh, starting at 9 a.m. with our email and then also on the school buses for our meal deliveries today. Real quickly, I would just want to go over some expectations for uh, a couple groups of people. First of all, the expectations, parents and students, for our teachers is to communicate with you uh, on a weekly basis, so please make sure that you're checking in, in with them. They will provide you feedback and guidance for uh, your child's learning or any in individual need that they may need. Uh, they're communicating weekly, daily with uh, the administration and other people in the schools to uh, best fit the learning needs for your child. So make sure you take advantage of communicating with them uh, to get your needs met. Second group is parents. Parents, we want to make sure that your kid is continuing with their learning journey. So make sure that we're submitting work to your child's teacher and checking in with them once a week. They are taking some attendance weekly, so make sure that at least once a week we're checking in, making sure everything's okay, submitting some work to them uh, that we're getting completed. And the last group is students. Students, we need some effort from you. We need at least one hour a day, try to get 60 minutes in. Uh, you can do 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there, and finish up another 20 minutes throughout the day. Uh, but we're asking for no more than one hour. So if you're getting uh, your work done and you're spending more than an hour, let's uh, hold off until the next day. But uh, let's put some effort into our e-learning and submit it to our teachers and continue down our learning journey. So. Uh, let's make sure we stick with it. This is kind of round three for e-learning, so uh, we appreciate all the effort and the adjustments that everybody has made uh, during this difficult time, and we want to thank you for everything that you have done. One last thing I'll touch on this morning is grading. Some of you have asked, what is my grade going to be? So based on the state recommendation, the grade for fourth quarter will be either pass or incomplete, uh, and that will be fourth quarter only. So it will not affect the overall grade for the school year. Those will be based on quarters one through three but 
quarter four grade will be based on these e-learning plans uh, and it will be either pass if students are submitting work to their teachers and receiving feedback or it will be incomplete if we have not heard from your child. So let's make sure we get that work completed and turned in. Before we left for Easter break, a couple of teachers wanted to give some shout outs to a few students, Hayden Howell, Claire Kidd, and Pax Paxton Adelsack, and Mackenzie Reams from Mrs. Hale's classroom, third graders, thanks for zooming in with her. Rider 4, special shout out to you buddy, great job on your 580 piece Lego set. So uh, using those engineering skills with your Legos, great job Ryder. And one last one from before we left, the Doring Twins, Lainey and Lillian, uh, looked like you were having some fun making some slime. So have a great week parents and students. Remember to continue submitting that work to your teachers and we will be back tomorrow with more news and information. Have a great day.